Hello, and welcome to the second episode of Forgotten Wonders. This week I'm going to be talking about Star Wars X-Wing Alliance, which is one of the best space flight simulator games that's ever come out. Again, sticking to the Star Wars theme for the second video. Um, but yeah, this game was one of the best for the PC, just for the, um, Target the nav buoy and we'll be on our way. The combat really, like that's the main focus for most people. The multiplayer was amazing. Dogfights and the amount of different ships you could control and everything, it was like well, it was just immense. But anyway, this the footage you're seeing right now is the um the sort of story mode where you you start off doing cargo missions and stuff and then work your way up basically. And uh I'm not too sure how it um, how it progresses. I never really played the the story too much, but you know you jump around from I'll system to system, you collecting cargo, by. that sort of stuff. Document well stations, the dropping it off. That's it's all fun and interesting. The main aspect of this game for me was the combat, space combat. This footage here is um, the A-wing. Just general dog fighting, and another thing I want to talk about is the um, the size, the the scale of the fights. Like those big ships in the distance aren't just like static backdrops. They're enemy fucking ships. You know what I mean? Like they're gonna start shooting at you. The main objective is to kill all the enemy flagships, but the uh, the fighters do make that difficult, <laughs> as you'll see. I think it's got everything really. It's got the dark fighting, it's got the uh, cruisers. You can see the friendly cruisers in the background there. And I've, I'm in a squad of uh, six or well, five other A wings, including me. Six. Four. Just epic space battles, really. Lasers flying everywhere, missiles. And the modeling, the model, like the detail of all of the ships is really here. quite accurate. As you can see, you can fly through different areas of the big ships to avoid incoming turret fire, that sort of thing. I think this entire, the entire X-Wing series is a neglected franchise, really. Like, People tend to forget about the good Star Wars flight games. They go on so much about Battlefield or the Old Republic Starfighter, which is, you know, it's alright, but it's just like a War Z clone, isn't it? A War Thunder clone, sorry. But, um, no, like games like this, there isn't really any out there at the minute. There's Wild Star Citizen on the way, and Dangerous. And they're just so complex, so in depth. They look nice, but if you just want to jump in and play something, I would recommend the X Wing series. X Wing Alliance, X Wing Command. I think. There's a few, anyway. Excellent space combat simulators. There's a few different types of ship you can play as. There's like a list as long as you know. And you can actually set up skirmishes, that's what this is, yeah. You set up a skirmish where you decide on the AI strength, what ships everybody's in. It's just really, you know, a lot of fun to be had on a dated system. And I think if you can find a copy of this in your local game shop, it's not going to cost more than £4 in this day and age. It's a dated piece of software, but even on eBay you're going to find it for 99p, something like that. A dollar if you're from America. But um, yeah, if you've got any suggestions, any ideas, any requests of any games you want to see, um, just leave a little comment in the comment box. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff.
They're disabled. 